I want to give back to the community, and I love the sound of making people laugh. <laughs> I really like the game we have called Dream Sequence. It's a game of telephone, uh, so you get a real dream from somebody in the audience, all the other players go out so they've not heard the dream, obviously. Bye bye. And then you pantomime that dream to the first person. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> who tells their interpretation of your pantomime to the next person. And I woke up and I was a monk. Who pantomimes it, who tells it, who pantomimes it, who tells it again. Uh, and I love it because it both has wordy creativity, right? But also physical creativity. And it gets amplified over the course of the game. <laughs> so I'm the artistic director of Scared Scriptless. Uh, it's a short form improv troupe. Um, if you've seen Who's Lines in any ways, it's a lot of that same format. Uh, you have a host, short form games. Uh, we take audience suggestions and do four to five minute scenes based on all those audience suggestions. Yeah, we are the longest running improv group in the state of Alaska. You know, one thing I noticed, say, doing this in New York, is there were a lot of people who are trying to get noticed, who want to be cast on SNL or want to be cast in a, in a house team at one of the bigger theaters, whatever it might be. Here, everyone's got a day job. I don't think there's anyone in the troupe who's doing it because they think it's their stepping stone to being discovered and getting a Hollywood career out of it. Um, and I think that's one of the things that makes it so enjoyable here is the fact that the purpose is so different. In, in a lot of ways, some ways it's more fun. Scrum, what does it mean to you? So I think we're incredibly lucky in Alaska, just because it's a little bit different. We seem to like, have a really great audience up here. Uh, down lower for date, they fight for an audience um, and they'll perform for you know like 10 or 20 people. And up here, we get up to 100 people a show. <laughs> I mean, I've known some of these folks for, we've known improv for 10 years now. If you spend enough time with a person on the stage, you get to understand how they think a little bit. And so even if you're given something strange, some strange suggestion from the audience. Badminton, that is your suggestion. You could delve into that and know that your scene partner, if you're reading them, know kind of where they're going with it and then play around with that. <laughs> a lot of times my end goal is not so much to get the laugh in the room, but to make something happen with the person I'm playing with. Objection! Why are we indulging this man's fantasies? Like if at the end of the show I can say, you know what, we had a really great scene together and I really liked building it with you, that's enough. Get her to the crib! Why is she so happy? You have big jeans! I know! Ah, it's this, it's this. I do improv because I like playing and feeling like I'm a child again. It's my only outlet for that. It awoke a part of my brain that had been sleeping for 20, 25 years, and that was the childhood play, inventiveness. Uh, too much of our adult lives is divorced of that kind of creative energy. I started doing improv because it scared me. And I kind of had a theme for my life at the time of trying things that were scary. And uh, this was like the scariest thing I could think of doing. Uh, and it still is, it's still scary, but it gets me away from hyper planning everything that I do. You know, once you're in a scene, it could literally go anywhere and it succeeds best if you're not trying to plan the next step. The reason I've chosen a lot of the things that I've done in my life is because I, I like a lot of variety. I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. And it's especially true with improv. I, I just love that you get on that stage and it's gonna be different than anything has ever been and different than anything ever will be again. I've been in Scared Scriptless for over 10 years. But when I came on, we converted it to a nonprofit with the mission to give back to the community. And we've had people come talk to us after shows. You know, we go out in a line after every show and greet people. And there's been people that have come up and, and said like, you know, I had a terrible day or a terrible week. My job has been really bad. Thank you so much for just making me forget about it and just putting a smile on my face. And I, I mean, that's, there's nothing better in the world than doing that. Thank you guys so much. We are scared, scriptless. We'll be back here next month. Thank you so much. Good night.